Howdy, 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 my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading, Cancer, for September and see what's going to be happening. On the top right-hand corner of your screen, I'll leave a link to my week uh, monthly pick-a-card tarot reading for September as well, Cancer. Check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as your Venus sign if you're going to consume YouTube tarot readings. And let's begin your tarot reading here today, Cancer, with the first card that fell out, which was the Four of Wands coming in here. All right. Now, the Four of Wands, Cancer, this is the card of marriage. I'm not saying you're going to be getting married, cancer all right but i feel like this is like a sign a positive omen for you cancer of letting you know that you are taking positive steps towards your future here for i always get all the time one of the most popular questions i get as a tarot reader cancer are people wondering if they are on the right path because sometimes people are feeling lost people are feeling as if like especially they start questioning themselves because you might be having questions about certain people that you've invested your energy into right strength card coming in here you've been doing some shadow work you've been having a little bit of an identity crisis a little bit of imposter syndrome perhaps cancer something has got you in your head here perhaps that made you feel like you aren't going uh taking steps towards your future but you absolutely are and i gain nothing from lying to you or sugarcoating it right cancer right whether it's news you want to hear or news you don't want to hear right so i gain nothing from this here what i want you to know cancer at this time is that you in september you are going to be extremely validated all right you're going to be getting extremely validated for the work that you've been putting into yourself but as well uh cancer you're going to be getting like this reminder where it's just like okay i'm not the crazy one here right maybe certain people have been making you feel like you're crazy or perhaps you're just over analyzing your situation in general uh here cancer but i definitely see this sense of where you're going to be getting extremely positive reminders um about how you are going down the right path here so this comes in the sense of like blessings all right so let's take a look at what type of blessings that would be three of wands coming in here eight of swords as well as the devil card all right so this is what's up here that's i kind of already clocked you guys here cancer all right so this is the sense of like imposter syndrome straight up here you've been seeing the signs of where where it is spirits needing or wanting to direct you cancer you kind of already know like you have like a bull plan for yourself of being like all right i gotta do this x y and z all right to live that dream life to have like that happily ever after right with that four of wands you know the steps all right you've seen the signs and i know you've seen the signs cancer because this three of one calls you out with this here but i feel like you guys are doubting those signs maybe you're feeling as if you're being like oh no i'm reading too much into the situation there's something there's like i even want to suggest to you cancer to do some type of cleansing here all right because i do get like this weird parasitic energy associated with this and this might be coming in the sense of like cleansing yourself of your social circle straight up here cancer all right and i'm not usually the type of tarot reader that will do any type of like fear mongering being like oh there are people out to get you or whatever but i am just noticing like this like leech of energy cancer that i feel like is tainting your auric field all right and this could come in the sense of maybe someone's done like an evil eye curse hex and this could even just be the sense of when's the last time you cleanse when's the last time you cleaned your house right and getting rid of this stale energy i don't think it's anything serious here but i just noticed it's like this like pest this like devil on your shoulder cancer that is like as it continues to grow it becomes more of a problem here all right you have been doing so much work some of you guys have been doing a lot of shadow work and the thing about shadow work cancer is that you have to make sure that you're still coming up for air all right that you're still coming up for air and for some of you guys this might be just a straight up call out cancer just to be very honest in the sense of like um clocking some of you guys on um, being a little bit too lenient on yourself falling back into old habits or old patterns again when's the last time you cleaned your room when's the last time you worked out cancer you know those things i do get this sense of where it's like you might be some of you might be slipping up on knowing what you need to do for yourself to reach your highest good here but i also want to let you know cancer that it's not too late all right some of you guys are just like oh Valka, it's pointless for me to start developing that workout routine right now because it's too late it's too far gone so whatever that is for you right and the reality is here with this strength and four of wands card this lets me know that it's not too late here all right the reason why like <laughs> 
you might have even noticed this cancer just throughout the past like three weeks or so i would say i would just like this weird energy you even like you might have caught yourself in just like weird moods weird patterns or something just like certain behaviors that i feel cancer that you can't really justify in yourself of like even why you yourself have doing have done it you might have even noted being like okay all right self like why are we doing this now why are we self-sabotaging why are we going backwards with certain things here that's why i really want to be pushing it to you cancer which is like do some type of cleansing all right do some type of cleansing again this is the first time of my any, any kind of reading i've done where i really do feel like there's something that is influencing your energy in a negative way again do i think it's life anything dangerous no darling this this ain't nothing especially now that you know the awareness of it cancer like i'm really not concerned whatsoever but it's like having like the awareness of being like oh someone's been sending me an evil eye darling think about who you've been sharing your stories to who you've been talking to this might even be i get the sense with that lover's energy someone that is just obsessed with you in some type of way you couldn't you maybe haven't even talked to this family member this person this previous lover in like months but they're still thinking about you here yeah wheel of fortune so this is what i feel like has happened for the majority of you cancers all right is that you have noticed in the recent weeks how things have just randomly just gone awry where you're just like girl i can't really understand why i'm under doing x y and z i was doing so good and then you will just have like these unexplainable mood swings these symptoms there's just something unexplainable that you are able to acknowledge on some level being like okay this is not what's you know that's not normal that's not something i should be doing or what have you but then i see this sense of like <sighs> i don't know i get like the sense with this devil here where it's like that will start making you regress and being like start having it where it's like you think you're crazy or over analyzing it being too emotional like it's that sense of where it's like you you're noticing this shift and then something that weird energy is like downplaying it to be either where it's like you're making it think it's not as much of a problem or that it's just something that's going on with you internally and i really want to just say cancer is like you just do some type of cleansing whatever cleansing looks like for you and your own personal practices um do some a cleansing of your energy energetic field your auric field do a cleansing of the, who has access to your energy do like a reclaim your power ritual uh be careful about who it is you're talking to i don't know i can't i'm gonna be honest when it comes to a general tarot reading i don't know if they have access to you or not because it could the answer is going to be yes in general because it's going to be very increased some of you cancers obviously so just full transparency in that don't go out on a witch hunt for it <laughs> if unless you're already confident and have an understanding like who it might be but even understanding like who it is darling right that doesn't really matter having that just the awareness something's going on here that isn't yourself all right and i'm the i'll gladly be the one cancer to tell you because again i gain nothing from just telling you what you want to hear it's just like there's just something negatively that has been impacting your energy impacting your life that i feel like you've been internalizing and it's not something that's internal is like something that you need to internalize it's something that you need to cleanse because i feel like the moment you cleanse yourself of that it like you'll notice that that wheel of fortune starts turning back in your favor more you might have even noticed certain relationships in your life like people like picking fights with you i hear like picking fights with you people like over making you come off as like aggressive or something when you're just sitting there like existing like i don't know why cancer i just get this sensation where it's like people have just been messing with you trying to call like create a problem with you and you're just like girl what am i even doing like i'm not doing anything right that's what kind of thing that i get is where it's like you're just in a very confused state about everything and being like am i in the twilight zone right that's kind of the best way that i could put at it so we're gonna leave that energy there cancer all right Right? because i feel like we've talked everything that we need to talk about with that and we're going to transition on to this new energy here all right so but that was definitely something that needed to be said for sure let's do one more bridge shuffle cancer okay so let's take a look here ace of swords all right ace of swords girl <laughs> ace of swords coming in for you cancer eight of wands two of swords here interesting and then the queen of pentacles in the back of the deck here you're going to be having an opportunity here uh cancer there's going to be an opportunity that presents itself to you and i feel like you need to grab at it immediately it's like the, it starts as something small like a seed of something the idea of being like oh maybe i should audition somewhere or you know it's gonna vary it's gonna range for all of you cancers here but there does seem this give this sense here with that two of swords 
that crossroads where it's just like you have to make a choice between a path or something and you there's no going back here so it's like and especially with the eight of wands giving that movement to travel quick success is also what the eight of wands is known as what is this detail about what can we get with this here cancer because this is sometime in four of cups coming in here making time for something that you know that you've been needing to work on or to put energy into but you've just been ignoring it because you didn't have the time or even again i know we said we're going to make this energy irrelevant cancer but i do feel like this devil energy came into play as well for this where it's just like You've been having such a strong idea, Cancer, of doing something creatively. And that devil comes in with that imposter syndrome or what have you. And then that's where it has like that missed opportunity, right? Where it's like spirits trying to have you see this cup here, but this devil's blocking it there. That's why, again, I feel like you would benefit greatly from doing some type of cleansing, just checking your energetic space here, Cancer, because I'm even like itching for extra for no reason as well. I'm going to have to like cleanse out of this energy as well, uh, Cancer but i do feel as if after that cleansing happens you'll be able to pick back up on something that you initially thought was hopeless and then be able to really progress with that there and then with the eight of pentacles as well this is a card of like uh furthering your knowledge it's a card of upranking, like a promotion perhaps as well all right but let's continue expounding on this just a little bit more cancer all right I do feel like it's just so important for you, though, to remove that. Uh, just do some type of cleansing. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles coming in. All right. So it's like after you do that cleansing, Cancer, you're going to be noticing just so much energetically starts clearing up for you in your life. And that I feel like something from your past that you definitely have some type of awareness of becomes relevant in your life again and it's almost as if you see the path clearly of how to either further your finances right when it comes to the pentacles it's those earthly desires so it's whatever you personally are dealing like desiring currently but we'll just go in the sense of where it's just like your the path becomes clear with the direction that you need to take to do what you felt personally always called to do with that four of wands all right so let's just say for example cancer this might be your story all right the details might be a little bit different but it's like you have like a storyline where it's just like you four of wands energy you have known for the longest of time that you are meant to have a voice that you're meant to have a platform that you're meant to have your story written having a book whatever it is but i do feel like it's having your name attached to something cancer right i do feel like it's something big in that way and you haven't ever really lost sight of what you want to do cancer but there's been in a recent times so of just doing a lot of shadow work a lot of just trials and tribulations will say cancer right and the reason why you've been having those trials and tribulations was because for some of you, you might be noticing just self-sabotaging behavior or this devil just comes in in the sense of like people that have been just limiting your life or what have you, right? Again, cleansing. By you addressing that energy here, right? Addressing this energy that we talked about, all right? We then get into this energy over here, that Wheel of Fortune. It's like addressing the, savage, the shady energy here, right? It's definitely this sense of just like... If especially if a person's involved here, uh, Cancer, it's not just like heavy energy that sometimes just get, uh, get, gets into people's spaces sometimes, all right? If it is like a person that's kind of done some type of evil eye or something, it's someone that's very obsessed with you. That's every time I pick up this energy, it's like obsessive where it's like their life is spiraling and but they blame their life spiraling onto you, Cancer. So then you end up d getting some of that icky energy, all right? But it's like by finally addressing that, that then finally gets the Wheel of Fortune starting to turn in your face favor again starting to pick back up and giving you an opportunity to pick back up on something that you initially ignored in the past because of whatever the reason is right you didn't have enough time what have you but it's definitely something that is familiar to you from your past cancer that wasn't you didn't really see it for what it was truly because of this devil influence that was just what have you right so it's definitely something from the past having the opportunity to go back to it build off of it cancer and get to the destination that you want it to get to with that ace of pentacles do you see how this all lines up darling all right so hopefully those messages make sense for you today cancer let's get into your oracle cards for september as well all right we're going to do a bridge shuffle and we're going to be doing three different oracle decks here the oracles portion is always my favorite because i am i don't know i have a personal connection with oracle cards they really always line up with my readings all right so you have step up and lead new moon in cancer new moons representing new beginnings taking a breather 
All right. Last quarter moon in Cancer, your moon and releasing your blocks. First quarter moon in Scorpio. All right. We've been saying block quite heavily here, right? taking a breather removing the blocks here and by able to by finally you being able to remove those blocks whatever those blocks look like in your life whether it's through internal blocks or external blocks all right not my business all right not my business then you are able to have this new beginning new moon in capricorn here being able to step up and finally take the lead with something that you felt like you couldn't prior whether it's you just simply take stepping up and taking the lead with your own future in your life again all right Let's do your uh, animal oracle cards now, Cancer. <clears throat> All right. You have the cheetah card. Get clear on your intention and stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goal. I do feel like you're um, you're going to be getting... There's like this laser focus that you're going to start developing again. But I, I keep on going back to it. But I, do, I really want to push the sense of like doing some type of cleansing cancer all right because i feel like by doing that cleansing it helps you see things clearly again and be like oh wait i was off track here let me get things situated here and i feel like once you get things on track here peacock card coming in letting yourself stand out and be noticed you'll notice as you start after you do that cleansing it's almost as if this evil eye on you that's why i get like that sense of like jealousy especially if it's like a ex-business partner ex-lover ex-friend it's like someone did some type of evil eye hoping that you don't ever get seen or noticed by other people all right whether that impacts just your career or just your personal life when it comes to having relationships all right it's it's very much specific in that way it's interesting and then the honeybee card that compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in the situation and you'll notice my tone with this here cancer even during when i was like darling i feel like someone might have done some type of evil eye or something on you and i was very kind of just brushing it off being like all right it's not really a big concern and they're irrelevant right we don't even need to know who it was because all that we need to do is just have have it be is like all right we address the we address the energy we clear the space but by sinking further energy into it right by getting into like a witch war arguments what have you they're still winning they're still taking your energy from you from from you that you then no longer could invest into your future into your business into yourself cancer and does that make sense so it's not a sense of like forgiving them be like oh yeah i understand it's like girl who cares right we don't need to understand them they're crazy all right they're crazy they're obsessed what have you all right but make them irrelevant where it's just like you know what you did your thing whatever darling i'm gonna cleanse my space i'm gonna put up my guard um uh proper words again and i'm gonna keep it moving towards my blessings right that's the energy that I want you to be exuding at this time, Cancer. All right. It's not because I'm just like dismissive of it and be like, oh, yeah, that sucks. All right. You know, sometimes there's a time and a place that you have to set someone correct, darling. But right now, I feel like it's just a waste of your own personal time by dealing with these, the, dealing with this runt here. All right. So let's get into your final moon oracle cards. <sighs> you have the new moon in Scorpio, Cancer, working through your fears. All right. Working through your fears, because, again, I feel like these fears are only being instilled like I don't feel like they're your own fears. All right. I don't know. Like and I'm usually very much so about accountability and what have you, cancer. But I do feel like there's something that's not of your own that's negative. All right. Emotions are running high and take time to breathe out. Disseminating, disseminating moon as well as the super moon. All right. Even these cards are expressing the sense of where it's like the emotions that you might be feeling. Like there's something with your energies where it's just like if you were to just do a moment to just reset, you'll be back on. You'll be able to recalibrate and be back on track to that four of wands again because you are doing just fine, darling. All right. And once you get rid of this parasitic energy here, darling then you'll be even more fabulous, Cancer. So I love you so much, darling. Let me know in the comments below how this tier reading helps you out. Give this video a like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, darling, Cancer.